Hello and welcome to CSNet. I am Chandra, your host. Today is April 2nd, 2014. It is a Wednesday evening. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to show you, but I did want to go ahead and record this portion of my video. Um, however, this you will not see it until after I do my unique presenters unboxing and then I will post both videos together in one blog post. So I kind of wanted to talk today. I finished my second pair of socks. Yeah, my second pair of socks. And these ones um, will be going to my cousin. I finished them. Oh, probably two weeks ago, or something like that. It's been a while since I finished them, but I wanted these socks were originally going to be for me, and I wanted to do um, a like an ankle sock because I didn't have enough yarn to do a full sock because I ruined part of the skin when I was winding it, and so. I just wanted to do um, an ankle sock, and then my cousin messaged me on Facebook and asked me to make her a pair of socks. And the other yarns that I have in my stash, they just don't really look like her. So I figured these would be, these pretty much look like her. Um, and in this video, I'm going to kind of show you how much you can learn as a knitter in um, just a week. So this is the this pair of socks that I just made for her, I did toe up. This is, like I said, just an ankle sock. I did the afterthought heel, which I really like uh, the technique. It's really nice to be able to just do a little sock and then go back and make the heel fit with your sock. I also like the way that this sock came out and the um, striping on it, as opposed to the sock itself where it kind of cool and then the heel has striping going on which is kind of fun. So there's my pair. I did these on size zeros. This is art yarn in the Easter bouquet colorway and it is I believe it's a hundred percent right now. I no longer have the tag it's with the rest of the stash put away. Um so then I started uh socks for my husband I'm doing these also on size zeros. This is Jinx yarn in the Riku colorway, and I believe it's an 80. I believe it's an 80 20 blend. 80 20 blend. Uh, Superwash merino and nylon. And he doesn't like long. He does not like long stuff either. So this is also it's a little bit longer of a short of a like an ankle sock, but it's still an ankle sock. And this is where you will get to see how much different a, a week can make. I want you to look at the toe on this sock. I did Judy's Magic Cast On with this sock and I followed it um, to a T. It tells you to cast on 10 and then um, increase one on each side uh, until you get to the count that you want and then this is the toe on my head. looks more like a sock it looks like a pointy toe sock, pointy toe this does not have the um, heel in it yet, I'm doing the afterthought again on his and you can see there where the heel will go and then I actually did like a I did a one by one ribbing up here so that there's a little bit of a give and then I did like a a basket weave a basket weave pattern on the top and it's all around pretty stretchy so I'm not sure how I feel about it or not but um, he's got a large foot as it is. 
And so I just I had to restart that off like probably seven eight times because I kept doing it and stopped the toe was like this. And I was like, that's obnoxious. So um I figured out how to do the toe and make it look like soft toe. I still did increases on his, but I did them I did them four. I added four for a couple rows and then I started adding two until I got to where I wanted. And I do I really like the toe. It's definitely more of a sock, more of a sock looking sock. So I started his second one today, and that's as far as I am so far. These are also on size zeros. They're just the bamboo, cheap bamboo needles that you can get on Amazon from Stitchberry, and they come in a collection. I think it's like size zero to size fifteen, and I believe that they were like. Twenty dollars with shipping and tax. So I jumped on that. I actually ordered a second set of the complete collection because like it's gonna hurt to have more. I also wanted to show you I had printed out labels because these socks are going to my cousin and I wanted her to have like care instructions. And also I have some of those like ruffle scarves hanging up in the office of the motel. Um, to sell, and so I wanted them to have like care labels and tags because there's some that are made of like cashmere and whatnot, and I wanted people to um, have instructions on how you're actually supposed to care for them and what exactly is made out of that way they can tell. So what I did is I just printed these up off of I think I used Microsoft Word. You could use whatever one. And I just typed in like business cards, I think. But I just printed them off. So there's my there's my information on what I printed and then I just cut them out. They're just on regular computer paper. And then on the back I put like a little note. I put the color, what it's made of. And on the other ones that I sent it actually put like hand wash only, lay flat to dry, or whatever, but, um, this is super wash, so she should be okay to wash it, and that's why I didn't put anything on it. If she ruins them, she ruins them. I don't even know if these will fit her, because she's so far away, but. That's really all I have for that. I have no sash enhancement, although I did find, um, a website called Simply Software, and it's been around, I'm sure, for a long time. But I just discovered it, and they're getting like some zebra striping stuff in, and I'm really excited about that. So I actually have you gotta check out my list. I have a a pre-written shopping list for the colors, colorways, and things that I want, and I'm just waiting for their update to tell me they have the zebra stripe zebra stripe kind of stuff in and then I will go ahead and start purchasing everything on my list. The other thing that I want to show you is my wonderful unique 3D eyelashes. Bam -bam. Aren't they amazing? They are pretty much a shocker. Um, these little bad boys are the reason that I am becoming a unique presenter and this is just going to be a short little snippet in this video because I will unbox my whole presenter's kit which is on its way. I got toothpaste on this when we were traveling so ignore that. But the first thing that I ever ordered from Unique was their um, the 3D eyelashes which is what I have and this is the old formula. But it comes in a cute little carrying case with their logo and then inside is your transplanting gel and your microfibers. So you put the gel on, you put your fibers on, you put a gel over the sample. So they're pretty fantastic. The one thing that I really like about them is they last all day. With my regular mascara, by the end of the day my eyelashes will be flat. It's 
look good for a couple hours. But with these, I mean, this, I put these on 13 hours ago. Hello. Still gorgeous. So I'm excited about it. And like I said, when I get my presenter kit, I will do a full unboxing and that will go on a separate video down below. And so, if you're watching this, down below is the unique presenter's kit unboxing. Uh, check it out. Look into it. Uh, contact me for questions. If you want to become a presenter, if you want to host a virtual party. Yep. Look down below. Enjoy. Keep your needles clicking.